Black hole is trying to apologize. Black hole, why you they apologize now? Stand by your words. Stand by waiting you talk. We don't need to come here and be apologizing, man. Guy, we don't need your apology. Let us make that clear to Black hole. It's not as if he was trying to apologize, but he was trying to explain himself. That what he said was misquoted. This and that, this and that was misquoted. Now he said, I don't know where in my speech that I say ban foreign music. How crazy can you spin a message that says love your culture and try play local music to your visitors if you want to see your country creative break boundaries? How do I want foreign music banned in my country while I work with foreign producer and artists? But agenda said, ah, lie. Good luck to everybody. Then uh, Vico said, Black Sheriff and a couple of Ghana artists have come publicly to say they do not want foreign music in Ghana. They want Ghana to listen only to Ghana. So Black Sheriff is saying he never said that anybody should ban foreign music. But you were standing behind the man who was on stage first to say, ah, we, we're going to deliberately, it's going to be a deliberate attempt to make sure we do, don't play all this music. We play Ghana. Play Ghana. You were standing in back of that man and there you come on stage, just try to act like an angel. You are not serious. You they follow devil waka. You they follow devil waka. And later you say, no, I'm an angel. No. I'm just following this devil. I have nothing. You know. Me, I stay for God. You are not serious. Who they try to deceive? You go hear what to to went up to come, Black Sheriff. You go hear what to to. Oh, do you know the support Nigeria gave uh, Black Sheriff? Do you know the support we gave Black Sheriff? Do you know how we carried Black Sheriff for head? How many times I don't praise Black Sheriff? We're so happy that Black Sheriff is making it big in Nigeria. We're so happy for Black Sheriff. Chama, man, eh, man, you messed up. So far, you're not supposed to date that stage. If not Shatawale date that stage, yeah, we know we will talk. Because we don't know Shatawale, though they come with this motive for a long time. But we don't know, say, still day your mind. We don't know, say, that kind of idea, still day your mind, Black Oak. Black Oak, we could the traveler. You may the travel, go here and there. Thank you, you mentioned it, that you're working with foreign producer. Foreign entertaining, uh, entertainment uh, industry, they feed you. Huh? All of all these musicians not be America they make their money from, no be outside. If Hollywood decide to close doors to all African musicians to come, you not go chop like that. Let me on you not go feed by these expensive things like that. No be there the dollar there. If foreigners decide to close their door on us, you are not supposed to be on that stage and be rubbing uh rubbing mind with local musicians there. You are an international musician and you need international collaboration to proceed, to go forward. And you stand for the same stage with local musicians to try to criticize other people. You are trying to control what the people they digest in their system. Who are you? Later in go they say, okay, let me replay you guys. Let me replay you guys this particular video, just in case so some of you can over here. It has to be um, a deliberate approach. It has to be strategic and deliberate without no malice to any other force or any other group. Let's make sure ours is ours and let's make it appealing to the masses. This is by drumming it in every other day. If you play foreign music to Ghanaians every time, that's what they are on and that's what they play. So when you go and check Apple Music Top 100 Ghanaian songs, you see foreign music. But that's what they hear on their radio, and that's what they vibe to. So that's what rings in their head. So when they want to play something, uh, something uh, they want to play their favorite, they go and play that. And you can't blame such an individual because they've been indoctrinated, if I'm using the right word. So if we want to do this, it has to be strategic and deliberate. Thank you. Um, blessings to everybody. Uh, you see, with me, everything I say is brief and short and heartfelt. You know, this is not a blame game. We are not blaming DJs, we are not blaming artists. 
we are not blaming consumers. It's a step in the right direction for us all and our music and our culture. So play Ghana. Blessings. Then, I think other nations, other African nations should also be strategic and deliberate as well with their own entertainment industry. And let's see whether we will be survive. Let's see now. My black girl, now your mother pay me for that place because I don't know all those other uh, people. Well, who no play black hole for uh for uh, Nigeria? Black hole call Nigeria. You see the law of unhappiness with one. Ah, black hole. You may be our guy. Eh? Let's be honest. Your top hundred, your top ten is occupied by Nigeria artists, entertainers. So just better to say no more Nigeria song is better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <say> foreign. <laughs> Well, I'll just confuse with myself and use that word for it. Stop confusing yourself, Blacko. Stop confusing yourself, Blacko. Then let's talk about one of the haters in the Nigerian music entertainment industry. That is Ricardo Banks. Ricardo Banks eh, is one of the chronic haters that we never saw coming. When Whiskey tried to place him where he belongs during the answers period, we were shouting, oh, no, 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 but this guy is really, really hater. So some of the recent tweet he tweeted, he shaded David Doe. He said, I hope David Doe generation doesn't suffer because of the way he spends. Then apart from that, he has sent out a lot of tweets. He said, whoa, whiskey that has been 21 since 2010. Lo, Olamide too said he's going to win a Grammy. The way Whiskey shake his voice at the end of every line in his song, though, is always sound like a faulty generator. <laughs> David do sing about how much is is he got. Got other artists sing about the rich people they knew. E.G. Whiskey. No, I hate Brimo. I pray, then he also said, I pray I make heaven because I hate a lot of people. They think they are my best friend and I laugh at them. This has been a uh, uh, Rekando Bank. People were digging out Rekando Bank. Oh, Old post. Well, I blame him and also I do not blame him because we also have another musician who was also a hater, and that is Bensi as well. Bensi Buju, the one you call Buju, was also a hater. And you guys recall now. Buju was also a hater. But later he apologized because he never really knew what it means to be an artist. But this one was 2012 tweet from, from Ricardo Banks. So I'm going to check when and how Ricardo Banks had a breakthrough. So let me check whether he still was, uh, if he was still tweeting about those stuff. So I said, Ricardo Banks was basically shading everyone from whiskey to Olamide, the David O. Guys, was a bitter soul. <laughs> Guy was a bitter soul. Well, maybe let me just uh, assume that Ricardo Banks wasn't a musician then. They will see at the other side of the, the, the music. And then now it's now part of them. It's at night, that's not part of them. You know, he has to act accordingly, you know, according to them. So I think we can just overlook what he did. You no, know, let's overlook what Rekando Bank did. Because now I'm part of them. Then he wasn't part of them. You know, and someone has made similar mistake before. Someone like Buju Bensi. Buju Bensi was part of the haters then, calling out all the musicians, blasted whiskey. Blasted David Doe, Bono Boy, all of them. But at the end of the day, we'll call. now those people see her play his career. 
But now he is not a believer. He's not a believer. The way Shatawale became a believer, now other musicians have not become believers. Eh? 